Hi guys! Hey! Leon and Dot over here. And welcome to our conversation. Today we're talking about the new normal. What's the new normal? Uh, hmm. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still discovering it. You know the thing is this. So many times when we're in crisis or especially in this situation, mm -hmm. we want to maintain the same routine, the same way we've been doing things. Mm -hmm. and. We sort of need a new normal. We yeah. need to move from what has been yeah. to something that we probably can gain in this new season. Mm -hmm. One of the things I've been trying to do is I found myself even with work. Yeah. I've been trying to keep everything mm -hmm. as familiar yeah. as it can be. Yeah. And I've just been wondering, am I actually missing out yeah. on something greater that could have come out of this you yeah. know coronavirus situation yeah. so for example if it's church yeah we're working uh, from home uh, you're supposed to do services yeah but then again you just have a few hours online and probably mm -hmm. because parents are with kids at home right now mm -hmm. they have a lot of things to do they don't have yeah. all that time like you know yeah. to block an hour or two hours yeah just for for church yeah how has it been for you um it's been kind of the same. I think um, one of the things I really have been struggling with is um, basically there's almost an expectation that everything that I've been doing and I've, I've been accomplishing can just magically transfer online. Mm -hmm. If it was a conversation you're going to have with someone, you move it to a call. If it was this, you're going to yeah. move it to that. And I think for me, one of the things that I've noticed, even in my conversations with other people, is that this is a new normal and things are not running the same way they used to be. As much as we have innovation, as much as we have technology, mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm starting to learn that not everything is replicable. Not everything can yeah. instantly switch up. And so like even in my research, I'm having to um, drop one of the elements of my studies and decide to do some more mm -hmm. on like, online research and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. 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 And I think one of the things um, that we can pick out of this, mm -hmm. especially trying to see stories in the Bible, is that mm -hmm. there are very many times that people in the Bible would experience a new season or yeah. a new period yeah. of time yeah. and they'd be stuck in the past. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, one of the classic examples is the Israelites. Yeah. I think one of the things that I've really learned to understand is context. and. When Jesus came, you've got to understand the Israelites. Although t from the way back when they became a nation, God came and brought a political leader, Moses. He went and liberated them out of Egypt yep, yep. through this huge miraculous signs and wonders and brought them into this promised land, into this new space and made them a nation. Then we go through the book of Judges and every few years there was this cycle of them getting into trouble, getting into oppression um, with other nations and God would send a political leader, a judge, to come and save them, to come and rescue them from that situation. Yeah. So by the time Jesus is ruling up oh. 400 years later, the Israelites are expecting the same thing. They're expecting this political freedom. They're expecting someone to come in, mm -hmm. basically make the Romans regret that they ever lived, <laughs> and then save them. So yeah. in doing so, you know, like just the way you're talking about um, the new normal, they missed out on the new thing. They missed out on the new way that God was moving mm -hmm. in a much more magnificent way, much more than just sending a representative. He was sending himself. He yeah. came himself. He walked amongst them. But because yeah. they were clinging on True, to yeah. this like, idea this old idea um that had worked that was something that had been repeated so you see that the point is not that the old is bad but, or the old yeah. is is did not work it's just that we're in a new normal absolutely and we absolutely. might miss out on the new ways yeah. to um experience god to do things yeah. if we are busy really really trying to cling on to the old way of doing things mm. and stuff like that. Absolutely, you know? and just to, to to preach a bit about that, I mean, the Jews, there's sadly some Jews still right now mm -hmm. who are still waiting, you know, for, for yeah. deliverance. And, you know, 2,000 years later, yeah. and how sad is it, like, the person who came to actually deliver them came mm -hmm. as a servant, came as a humble man, yeah. and they missed it. Yeah. And for me, I feel like we may be in a position where we also are missing out or may miss out if mm -hmm. we try to stick to what was familiar or what was normal. Yeah. 
yeah. allow us to suggest to you that there is a new normal. Yeah. There is something God is either doing or wanting us to be part of. Yeah. Uh, through innovation, through sharing our faith, uh, through being relevant at our workplace. I don't know yeah. what it looks like for you, mm -hmm. but I think this is a new normal we need to uh, plug into. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm just thinking about in terms of my workplace. Yeah. I've been trying really hard to cling on to like the youth group and just have it online. But I've discovered that that's not going to work because, yeah, just physical distance, etc, etc. Yeah. And I, I, today, as I was going through what we ended up doing on Sunday, we actually ended up doing a deeper Bible study. Like, the kids actually concentrated long enough to go through the Bible, mm -hmm. which is like a miracle for me. So I feel like if I, if I were to try and cling to the old past and, you know, trying to measure this standard mm -hmm. against the old one, mm -hmm. then I'd feel like I've failed. Mm -hmm. But... In, in just embracing this new normal and new way of doing things, mm -hmm. I'm just finding new good things, new positive things coming out of it. Yeah, yeah. And it's possible for that to happen in other areas of our life as we as we adjust to a new way of being. Yeah. yeah. And we want you to take a proactive exercise uh, yeah. in this period mm -hmm. uh, to identify what has been your normal or what has been familiar mm -hmm. to you in terms mm -hmm. of work relationships and family mm -hmm. and what could be your new normal yeah. something that you'd probably even thrive more in doing mm -hmm. and you'd excel mm -hmm. even more yeah um then once you've done that do let us know um, yeah. in the comments we'd love to have this conversation with you yeah get to love you and leave you <laughs> bye bye <laughs>